Hello, my name is Austin Foote. I'm a junior here at CW University. I'm a communications major. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video blog instead of kind of written blog for something different. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is just kind of give you a breakdown of what we did this past week. Um, a little bit of kind of the mood of the team and kind of the future that we're looking forward to. Uh, this past week, uh, we had only one game, which is kind of rare for us in Cedarville. Um, our game was Thursday against Urbana University. Uh, we played them earlier in the year and had beat them. Uh, this was kind of an important game because uh, we always like to finish out strong. Um, but the game kind of proved to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, it wasn't the, the easiest win. And uh, we kind of struggled a little bit in the first half defensively. Um, we kind of had it struggled a little bit with lack of intensity. Other than that, though, uh, we kind of pushed through. Uh, we were able to get the victory and kind of one of those games where you learn what you can, uh, but you just kind of move on. Uh, the nice thing about this week was we actually had two days off. Uh, we had one day off on Tuesday, which is pretty nice, and a day off on Saturday, which is probably, I heard actually Coach Twitter, or tweet is saying uh, it was the first time in roughly 12 years that we've had a Saturday off. Um, basically, the guys just pretty much did their own thing on the weekend. As for me, I just really took the time to get some homework done. Um, I actually spent my whole Friday night doing homework. Which, which worked out all right. I guess it's a good time to do that. Um, on Saturday, we pretty much just hung around, uh, kind of watched some games, watched some movies, and just relaxed. Uh, the team itself, a little worn down at this time of the season. Um, at this point, it always gets a little tough to maintain energy uh, and kind of mentally keep strong and positive. Uh, but as we move towards the tournament play, guys are starting to get pretty excited. Uh, the next game up is this Tuesday against Central State. Uh, we played them earlier in the year against, um, or at least that was November, I think. And uh, we won by 10. Uh, it was actually one of the better games that we played before Christmas break, before heading into Nevada. Um, it proved to be a really, uh, really tough matchup all the way through. We actually, it was pretty close to the last three minutes where we pushed it out to about 10 point lead. So at least in this game, we're not expecting an easy, uh, an easy win at all. Uh, it's gonna be coming in, we gotta be make sure that we're focused uh, and ready to go. Uh, basically, uh, for Central State, we've kind of gone through the scouting play. It's kind of hard to anticipate. We haven't seen them since last year, or since, yeah, I guess, last year. And um, so it's a different team, but we're a different team as well. And hopefully that we can just uh, match up with them. Hopefully we're going to take pride again in our defense this past couple of games. We've pretty much held teams to about 30% of the field goal percentage. So that's kind of our goal this, uh, this next game, is to try to keep them under that. And when we do that, we're really, really good. This, uh, this coming Tuesday, it's actually preemptive love coalition. That's the, the, kind of the theme, I guess, of this game in regards to uh, basically what our school does is they're uh, raising money for a whole bunch of kids in Iraq so that they can perform heart surgery on them. And so a lot of the varsity players will be wearing preemptive love coalition t-shirts while we warm up, uh, and they'll be selling t-shirts and sponsoring that. So we'd love for you to come out and support that as well. Uh, this game is really important for us as a team. Uh, mostly because if we win this game, we actually obtain uh, home court advantage uh, for the tournament play and during the Ohio Independent Tournament, uh, which will take place, I think, the following week. Um, and so this, this game is, is kind of has a big incentive for us in the regards that we need to perform well and win this in order to get that home court advantage. The only, the only problem would be is that it would be during spring break, which would be a little bit of a bummer uh, due to the lack of crowd here at Cedarville because everyone's on break. But other than that, um, hopefully we can win this one. And then we got one more on Saturday against Malone, uh, which we actually beat only by two at the buzzer. So basically, we just want to take it one day at a time. Uh, hopefully, guys can catch up on rest. Uh, a couple nagging injuries from a couple players that hopefully can heal up fairly soon. And, um, and then just take it from there, one day at a time. Uh, one other thing that I'd like to mention is uh, on Saturday, we're actually having senior night. Uh, this is, hasn't really happened in quite some time, at least the time that I've been here at Cedarville. But we only have one senior graduating this year, and that's Daniel Kohabi. Um, technically, I would have been graduating with him, but was a redshirt freshman, so I got one more year. Um, so hopefully it'll be a great night for him. He'll be the only one honored. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Hopefully uh, it can be a time where he can kind of look back and reflect and enjoy the time that he's spent. Um, it's kind of surreal that as I came in with him as a freshman that he's going to be leaving this this after this year and uh, it's amazing how much time flies and so I hope that his time here has been has been enjoyable that he's really had a good experience playing basketball and developing relationships he got a wife out of it so that's a good thing <laughs> um, but other than that we hope that uh, that he, he, he has a good time on Saturday and that um, Cedarville and our team honors him appropriately well I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video blog uh, I'm Austin Foote I hope you enjoyed it and as I say we'll see you on the foot side